Hello YouTube, this is Funnel Zone and I'm here to show you a nice and cool looking software. This software will help you improve your gaming experience and performance. Um, let's go to your web browser and search engine and search for Game Booster. Game Booster 2.0 free download. Speed up PC for top gaming performance. First link. Only one click, turn slow PC into gaming box, into a fast gaming box. Now you can also download, uh, download, I mean buy, the premium version of this software, but just go with the free one. These are the benefits you will get for free, free version. And premium like basic game boosting the same uh, all, all both softwares had this improved game experience both has a tweak system for top performance add unlimited games into the game box control over interface settings fast automatic update free technical support that's real nice but just go with the free version I don't think you will need all that stuff I already have it installed, but when you install it, then you will have this on your desktop and this. Click on Game Booster, and then you will see this interface. Um, in this right, right, in right side, you will see CPU, RAM, and page file, language, options, and support. Let's go into options. Minimize to system tray when program is closed. That's like when you close it, um, then it will minimize to the tray down here. And auto minimize to system tray after switching to game mode. You can choose how many seconds they will go. And when you choose this, um, you can yourself just click this. When it will do the, when you click gaming mode, it will minimize to this tray icon, to the tray icons. Execute as Windows startup, that's like um, at startup when you turn on your computer. I don't know, this is, um, yeah, edit your own services list in service list Windows 7 section. I will um, touch that if I were you. Download, download path, this is um, for the install path you have. Enable proxy if you pro have a proxy server. Game box. Game box is this down here. When you have the game uh, game booster running, uh, you can um, take like Counter Strike Source. Let me just like that. Then then this icon will go away. It's gone now, and it will be down here. And now I can run the game from the game box. It's a little uh, box which have your icons in here. Because uh, it won't use uh, space on the desktop, but um, on limited edition, uh, uh, I mean premium edition, uh, w will give you unlimited space here. I'm sorry. You can also uh, our map go back to normal mode after closing all games. That's like when you when you um, run Counter Strike Source. It will go into um, and you have gaming on, mode on. It will, when you close it, it will go back to normal mode. Like when all the services is, when the services are gone, the service will start back up when you close the game. Show game box. This game box, if you want it running, if you feel you need to. Appearance, transparency. Yeah, like that. Now I can see it, no. but just update, check for updates when program starts, performance, yeah, Game Boost to Premium, you have to buy it for having perform update as a scheduled time, and ignore the list, the items listed below will not be displayed in game messages. Not much options, but it's fine. Now this is the main why this um, is made for. 
go into customize first for the first time. This is the unnecessary services that will be closed uh, when you um, click the big boost button. Just leave it default. Click next. And this is the programs, uh, non Windows services, like uh, Lock Me In, Hamachi 2.0 Tunneling Engine is just a little program, network program, driver stuff, which I don't need when I game. And this is Super Anti Spyware Core Service. This is just a uh, antivirus scanner or something, which I use just back up. Uh, then I want, don't want its core service to run in the background when I'm playing. Uh, click next. Just choose the program you don't want to. Um, please select the background application you want to close. This is the memory use it uses 42.72 megabytes. Uh, this is the Net Limiter 3 Pro. Uh, it just shows some network, megabyte download, all that stuff. But I don't want that when I'm uh, playing, so I want that closed. And this is Yava, 0 0.16 megabyte it uses of memory, but I want that to run because I will use Game Booster with Minecraft, and Minecraft can be run, cannot be run with uh, without Yava, you know, and sometimes play Minecraft Classic. And this is uh, cool stuff. Game mode power plan changes your power settings to high performance to get 100% CPU process state. You would like to activate gaming mode power plant? I will choose yes, but you, um, if you don't have a, enough, uh, a strong CPU, just click no. Just leave the default if you, if you want to. And now, gaming mode is on. 21 services slash app stop and 63 megabyte RAM defragmented. Now let's see this. You can see that it's, um, it's, there's a little cut around, color around here. And that means it's running. Click to restore. Uh, that's annoying. It runs every time I restore because it's one of the closing programs. Um, now it's gray. And this is cool also. Game drivers, like if you had NVIDIA GeForce GT 230 um, video card like me. Yeah, I know it's old. Uh, you can. This will tell you if you need an update. To that driver, game essentials like Ventrilo is a gaming, is a um, speaking program which you can use in games. So it recommends you to download this. And Xfire is like Steam. You can have friends, recorder, all that st stuff to games. It also recommends you to download that. Game defrag if you want to. You can defrag games like Battlefield Bad Company 2 and World of Warcraft. Need for speed, so awesome. System tweaks. This is just default. But if you want top performance, you need Game Booster Premium. Game tools, advanced system care. It's just one of the software to defragment your system. Mouse, you can tweak it. Keyboard tweaks. Game controller, if you have this, check your computer speed. The score for your computer, adjust power settings, open disk cleanup. This is the uh, default this Windows disk cleanup. I just use CC cleaner. And here you can upgrade. And here, um, in the um, free version, you need to download it actually. In premium, you will just click for check updates and it will pop up a new window which will update the program. But here you need to just uh, installer 2.2. You can see it here. But that's pretty much it. I will recommend downloading this because it really helps uh, creating performance in your games like Battlefield Big Company and Minecraft too because it generates a new world all the time and you don't want um, too much RAM to be used on other programs other than Minecraft. So it's really nice. And every time you in a game, you can just click to boost, and then when you're done, to click to restore. And of course, you can do that with the gaming box. Like at Metal Gear, go back to normal mode after closing all games. And then, and also you have 
instead of going into the game, if you can just do it from here, switch to gaming mode. Um, no, you can restore it with clicking it. But there's the thought you could, but that's okay. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will download Game Booster. See you next time.